So this is my quilting studio in the garage. I have two robotics set up. They're both going right now. I have a stretched brother, which is the one you're looking at here. And then I have another computer over there. And I have a homesteader, 22 inch. Now we're going to hone in a little closer here, see what it's doing. You see the sewing machine is moving itself and the frame is holding the quilt top, batting, and backing. There is a PC quilter side mount. I'm going to go over and see that right here, which is attached to the rails and to the machine and to the computer. And then you can see that the pattern is being made onto the quilt as the PC quilter moves the sewing machine. It's a pretty subtle pattern. These are for American Heroes quilts for injured soldiers. Uh, usually the quilt tops are pretty bright themselves, so I try and just do a not very wild quilting. This has words like respect, thank you, honor, bells, flags, and such. And then over here we have a little lighter thing with uh, sailboats. And you can see I'm upside down here though, but you can see the sailboat in the pattern along with the stipple. Let's see if I can get it more up right side up. Do work backwards on these things so that can be a little disconcerting until you get used to it. So this is the take up roll here where the quilted part is being rolled and then it goes through the middle of the brother micro quilter. And this one is attached to a plain PC quilter, robotic, that's the silver part that's moving up and back. And uh, that is not removable like the other side. The side mount can be removed to do free motion. I have been going fairly slowly right now because it's my first time in several months and I want to be ready for any problems like, guess what, I ran out of thread. Ha -ha. So while I was so glibly talking and showing my work here, nothing was quilting because the quilt thread had broken or run out of uh, bobbin or whatever. So I'm backspacing now, back to where it started. Let's see, it stopped right here. You can see where it left off there. So we're going to backspace to that. So you can see we're just about there, and I'm going to stop the pause switch. And we're off and running where we left off. I pulled up the bobbin thread, and we resumed where we left off. No big deal. These are my two sentries, my helpers, Dory. This is Dory. She's a Portuguese water dog, about 11 years old. And this is Lola. Lola. This is Lola. She's only four on the 4th of July. And they love to come up here with me when I quilt. And we seem to be missing a dog, one of the sentinels. Let's see where he has ended up. Oh, there he is, little Bert, under one of the quilting frames. Keeping watch. Well, we're just about at the end of the sailboat quilt. Finishing up the last pass. Pretty uneventfully. Then I'll take it off the frame, pack it up, put it in a box, and send it back to American Heroes Quilts. And they'll finish it and deliver it to soldiers, or a soldier. So this is just showing how it's sewed to the leaders, and I'm just ripping it off the leaders uh, in order to uh, package it up. Just baste it to the leaders, and it's easy to rip it off with no pins.